Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we move forward. We've got some weird little reveals tonight. Nothing crazy, nothing from Link Infinite Forbidden, nothing from the Duelist pack, um, or even Animation Chronicle. Uh, actually, just some weird little promos um, that are pretty cool to, uh, to look at. I, I don't know exactly where these are coming, but apparently these are revealed in uh, the subscription as subscription promos. Uh, of some of Yusei's rivals, I guess. I believe these are revealed on Neuron, uh, the app. So there you go. I have no idea where we're supposed to get these other than like the V jump. Uh, maybe they're they're going to be promos in the V jump, uh, you know, magazine uh, in the OCG. But that's about all I know. All right, let's at least see if they're interesting here. So first off, we have Bombing Beast Fire Bomber. You have this guy. It's this guy up here. Fusion Monster. He's a level 6 fire machine. 1900 attack, 2400 defense. He takes any one machine plus a pyro. That's that's super polyable. I mean, pyro, I mean, Snake Eye's already really good right now, so if Snake Eye ever gets to a version where they like somewhat consistently put a machine on field with a pyro, we could be cooking with something for sure. Alright, two hard ones per turn effects. The first card effect reads, if this card is special summoned, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls with 1,900 or less attack. That's pretty good versus Snake Eye. Okay. Second effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls with the 1,900 or less attack, destroy it, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Hmm. That's not too terrible either. I mean, this is technically like a... Like a Dogmatica Punishment target, like a sendable target from Extra Deck. We've seen, we, we know multiple cards that are able to do this, but uh, yeah, even just generically sending this to pop something and burn, the burn is a little extra spicy, but um, the pop's not amazing. There's better, Intus is just a straight up better pop. So I don't think you use it specifically for that. I think it's more uh, probably a better use of something of being able to like su summon this, use its first effect. I mean, to be fair, any quick effect to like fuse a generic machine in pyro does kind of get a board wipe on the opponent's field i mean it's only 19 or less but that's most i mean like there are some decks like cash tira that are going to summon mostly higher level monsters or higher attack monsters but most archetypes use like smaller monsters to kind of build up to the boss monsters so this could actually catch some people um but for sure, Super Poly is the most interesting card here. I mean, imagine being able to Super Poly someone in the middle of their combo. Maybe you go first and you set it. Hit them for this. Not only take two monsters from the field, but then destroy everything else they have that's less than 1,900. And if they and if they out this, or next turn, you can like link this off and potentially pop something else, like bait out an SP Little Knight or something, because it's a, it's a smaller monster. So, honestly, not a bad card. I mean, you could argue that the, the materials aren't the most... Uh, the most common right like types out there but uh, overall pretty decent card actually I'll, I'll take that all right I'll, I'll definitely scoop that as just like something of stuff in the binder and wait till the format comes along where it's like a nasty super poly target all right next up we have infernity queen just a straight up new infernity card okay uh, level three dark fiend nothing surprising there 300 attack 900 defense you can only use uh, the effect of this card once per turn uh, while you have no cards in your hand, and this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one dark monster from your graveyard to target a dark monster you control. It can attack directly this turn. Oh! <coughs> terrible. This card sucks. This card stinks like shit. Uh, I hate it. I hate this card. This card's terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I don't even need to- I don't think I need to discuss this. Uh, if you're an Infernity player, feel free to let me know if you think there's any reason to believe in this card, but otherwise it seems like a brick, it seems like it's terrible, it seems like you never want to see it. It is a tour guide target. That's about the nicest thing I can say about it. Alright, <clears throat> and lastly here we have a new, um, new fiend. This is just a level 3 fire fiend, so not a- not a dark. <laughs> Um, 1600 attack, 800 defense. This is a Cursed Fire King Doom Burst. Uh, that's this guy up here. He kind of looks like a little imp or monkey, but he's on fire, which is kind of cool. And then this is the Lab of Infernity guy as well. He looks fine, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, you can only use both of its uh, first effects once per turn. If you control a Fiend Tuner, you can special summon this card from the hand. What is that, just Jack Atlas support? Is this just, is this just Red Dragon Archfiend support? Uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here from the first effect. 
If this card is special summoned, you could target a monster your opponent controls and loses 600 attack until the end of this turn. Fine. Whatever. And if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one face of monster your opponent controls, it loses 400 attack until the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so basically, its second and third effects are like almost nothing effects. Like, almost, they just, they're almost negligible. I mean, maybe they could matter, help you run something over that's pretty big, but that's about it, or do extra damage. Not worried about those at all. It is just a simple extender, but this is about as vanilla an extender gets in for modern day Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this used to be okay uh, a couple years ago, but a monster that just summons itself, unless it's like there is a very powerful card that it can pay you off into singularly, uh, it doesn't feel like those types of extenders are, are quite good enough anymore. So, um, especially since didn't it, is isn't um, from like what Premium Pack 2024 that got revealed in like December. Didn't we get that new, that other Red Dragon Archfiend kind of card? Doesn't he do kind of this, a similar thing? Like, he's a level 3 extender that summons if you, like, control a Fiend Tuner. And he's, like, actually good. Doesn't he actually do something that's decent? Can't even remember what his bonus effect is, but it's way better than these. So, this just seems like a worse version than that. And it seems like they're both supposed to support the same deck. So, I don't really get it. I don't know why you would make just a worse version of him. But, here he is. Um... The only other thing that got revealed actually earlier today is a, a new Harpy's Feather Duster artwork from the for the OCG for their 25th uh, quarter century collection. Uh, it's very cool. Um, I like it. I would buy this one if it was in the TCG, and I would probably use it as the main artwork I'd use for it. Um, this is a pretty cool artwork. I like that it actually has a Harpy Lady in it. Feels more true to the actual origin story of like the actual card. Um, it is searchable in Harpy's, which is very cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it's cool. I'm with it. Um, but yeah, going back to these, uh, honestly, the Super Poly target's definitely the most interesting to me. I'm not even sure if it'd even be playable right now, because how does your opponent... How, how are Snake Idex putting a machine on field? I guess they do... Um, they used to do Jet Synchron. But they usually... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really not sure. I mean, I guess you can hit it because it's that, or you can even hit the, um, the level 2 Synchro that they use the Quick Fuse or a quick synchro on your on your turn. I don't there's there's definitely some stuff here. I'm just I don't know if it's all the way there. Um, but he's cool. He's definitely something to take a look at. I, again, like I said, I, I would pick up one or two of this guy. I'd throw him in my binder and just say, hey, some at some point in the next ten years this will be a super poly target. That's legitimately playable in a format. I know it will be. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, just like little V jump reveals. Um, again, these are just promos, so nothing too crazy. I will keep you guys updated on any other news that comes out later in the week. Uh, I have a video coming talking about Fiendsmiths a little bit more, um, going a little bit more in depth and talking about what their possible applications could be um, going forward. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, but I'm out of here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel for more stuff from me down the line, and I will uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.